Hmm. He didn't call tonight. I must admit, I didn't think that it would happen this way. Neither did I think that my life would be the example for today's lesson. Anyways, now ready? Here goes. If you had asked Vivica A. Fox 20 years ago if she thought she would still be unmarried, single, and childless at age 60, her answer would have been no. This answer would resonate with many, 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 many women in their 20s and 30s in the early 2000s. Yet, according to data, this outcome isn't surprising. In 1970, 35.6% of black men and 27.7% of black women had never married. By 2020, these percentages had jumped to 51.4% for black men and 47.5% for black women. So like many, 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 many black women, Fifika Fox remains unmarried and single later in life. This fact is especially intriguing because Fivica Fox was not supposed to be in this position at age 60, right? He insulted uh, African-American women on a consistent basis. Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, it was a shock jock. To understand why a woman like Fivica Fox is still looking for love at 60, let's go back 23 years ago to the movie Two Can Play That Game, where Fivica Fox essentially plays herself. In this film, she wasn't just acting. He will call you today unless he's a fool, in which case you don't want him anyways. But if he's a good man, you're getting a call. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's the message of this movie in a nutshell. This movie delves into valuable lessons about the attitudes and values that women, particularly black women, have adopted, which hinders their ability to find and maintain relationships. We will break down this video into four chapters. Chapter one, the stereotypical strong and independent woman. Chapter two, there are no good men out there. Chapter three, the glorification of the high value, high status, high earning man. And chapter four, the never ending power struggle. This is gonna be one of those long ones. Sit back and relax as we uncover why Fivica Fox, like many, 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 many other women, is still searching for love at 60. Disclaimer, this video contains copyrighted footage, so we will be freezing it frequently to prevent copyright infringement. A special salute to our Patreon supporters. The original video will be available on Patreon. If you enjoy our content and want the full experience, consider supporting us on Patreon. Spoiler alert! This video contains spoilers, so you've been warned. We men and we. Yeah. We men and we. Yeah. And if you haven't noticed, I'm a sister. An educated, strong sister. Oh, this really saddens me. Karen's a top executive at a big engineering firm. The youngest executive in the company, period. Black, white, male, female, she's the youngest. Strong, sharp, very impressive. Vivica Fox portrays the stereotypical strong and independent woman a role many, 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 many women aspired during the early 2000s, believing it was their ticket to having it all. This trope was heavily promoted during that time. I just believe that like this narrative about being this independent black woman, mm -hmm. could you never hear another race say that? I don't never. hear no white woman saying I'm an independent white woman. <laughs> I'm they do that at the Mexican woman. <laughs> like, like what? Yeah, they're more right. like poppy, right? These women embrace the idea that high status, high paying careers, owning a house and car, and adopting masculine traits would increase their sexual market value. Fast forward to 2024, and this belief has backfired. 
We're all single here on this panel. Are you single? I am definitely single. I'm yeah. newly yeah. single. Yeah. I've been single a very long time. Yeah. And single. And all successful, yes. which is scary. So it is that hard, it's, right? It's We're saying it's not that hard, but you have four successful women. Because the success is not to our advantage. Beautiful. Romantic now, it's no surprise that these women are still single today. The information and warnings have been available for a long time, but they didn't listen or didn't want to hear it. They did not tell us that all of that, uh, being my own person and I'm independent, would lead to separation, loneliness, celibacy, and lesbianism. They didn't tell us that if you give up the man, you're going to take one of these things and it's worse and it will destroy your nation. They didn't give us that information. They made us think that it was some kind of glorified position to brag about the fact that I got my own job, my own credit card, my own car, so I don't need no man. I don't even know how we got that mixed up. Ain't none of that got nothing to do with having being with no man. <laughs> you know. yeah. Shout out to the great Shahrazad Ali. Before quoting and celebrating your favorite content creator, remember that 40 years ago, before the internet and social media, Shahrazad Ali was in the trenches educating both men and women about these issues. Back then, many, 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 many women didn't want to hear it. And to this day, they still don't. This is why we don't make these videos for women. We know they won't listen. These so-called strong and independent women love to talk about being educated, yet they lack the education necessary for healthy relationships and realistic thinking. Check this out. We have some serious relationship problems that nobody has been able to address us on because everybody wants to pretend that this is not going on. You know, over 60% of our women are single, widowed, separated, or divorced. They don't have a man. Women were single 40 years ago. And the situation has only worsened because they continue to hold on to the same mentality. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Come back 20 years later and many, many, many of these so-called strong and independent women will find themselves in the same situation as Vivica Fox. Tracy, another one of my girlfriends. Man trouble too. <laughs> Seems like every woman I know is having man trouble. One day after lunch, she meets this scary girl, Uncle Tom looking buck tooth brother. So can you fix my car? Yeah, I can fix anything. Oh, really? She cleaned him up, cut his hair, even straightened out his crooked ass teeth. You need anything else fixed up around in here? I mean, she's a damn yeah. sister. <laughs> She'll work with her brother, you know? Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. What's your name? Karen. Karen. Yes. Pam, you beautiful. Oh. You make a brother want to sing to you. Ooh, 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 Karen. I want you. Brother, ma'am. Tracy's situation is different. Her man, definitely cheating on her. A sure sign of that is the constant roaming eyes. Then he says, What are you looking at? Hi, baby. Come on, now I'm just looking. Ain't nothing wrong with just looking. Then comes that line. I'm a man, ain't I? No, you're a dog. You know what I told her to do, right? Check him. Finally, there's Deidre. Two words describe Deidre. Ghetto, fabulous. Her man, double negative. He has no job and no money. <laughs> We're talking about. Baby, let me see you know, until next week. Come on, baby. No, I love you, girl. No, I'm sick about that shit now with all that whipped cream. No. Somebody please tell girlfriend what she should do. That's right. Kick his broke ass to the curb. In this movie, there are no good men. And it's not a coincidence. Like I always say, a good man can make a woman feel bad because she is not a good woman. The bad boy makes a woman feel better about herself because he takes away the pressure of being a good woman. This is exactly the narrative of these modern movies. Men are portrayed as stupid, clumsy, buffoons, or if not, they are evil, cheaters, or gay. Anything to make the woman look and feel better. Before a man cheats on you, there are always signs. I know I ain't worked out in three years, baby. 
but I'm trying to get back into shape for you. I was working late. What you trying to say? What's wrong with a brother buying some new underwear? My ring? Oh, baby's right here in my top pocket. The number one excuse of a cheating man is? I was working late. This gives women a built-in excuse for why they are single. It's never their fault. It's always the men's fault. Telling women they can't do anything wrong and are perfect is a big reason why they can't handle criticism and struggle to form healthy relationships. When something doesn't go their way, they lose it. I'm hungry. <laughs> you see, there's two things you don't mess with. My man and my food. <laughs> Either one, I had to cut your ass. <laughs> Monique's character in this movie is presented as a big, confident woman who's comfortable in her skin. She complains about her man being broke, but that's exactly the type of man she will attract. When we tell these overweight women to lose weight and upgrade their sexual market value, because men in general are not looking to date overweight women, they don't want to hear it. They believe men have to love them for who they are. And if that means I'm single for another two years, then that's what it is. Because the person that is for me is going to take me right now at being a little over 300 pounds. Because then in the future, when I look at you, I can say, you deserve me now at my best. Because this isn't my best. My best is yet to come. But you should earn and deserve me at my best. And that's the problem. A lot of people don't want to put the work into people that don't look like they're worth the work. Now the character Tracy seems to get a pass for her aggressive and abusive behavior because her man cheated on her. A woman who is loud, aggressive and abusive like this. What kind of man do you think she will attract? Check this out. But do you know how to be, quote unquote, submissive to Absolutely. the man? But if, if he's not being, if he's not coming to me as a man, mm. then why the f*** am I playing my role if you ain't doing yours? You see how T-Boss from TLC reacted to this question? Look at her body language. This woman is a ticking time bomb. The moment something happens that she doesn't like, she's ready to explode. A woman will show her true colors under duress and pressure. Women who claim they can be submissive for the right man are full of it. It's cool if God brings me somebody who is really a man, cause you know, I'm a real alpha, so it takes a special person to deal with me. Right. Cause I do a lot of Women cannot turn this masculine energy on and off on command. This is T-Boss. She always exudes masculine energy. Why do you think her name is T-Boss? A masculine man will not be attracted to her because he is looking for balance and femininity to complement his masculinity. So most of these so-called alpha, strong and independent women will naturally attract weak, feminine men and not the men they are looking for. But it's never them. It's always us because there are no good men out there. Let her go. Don't beat on her. Don't catch no cases. Let her go. Like just let, like literally let her go. Yeah. And you vet her with your frequency. You vet her with your vibration. I walk in some rooms and I get around certain black women and I start talking. They can't stand me. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> good. Bye. <laughs> why don't why is that they can't stand you? Because I just told you what you a lot of black women are not used to a black man that has confidence. A lot of black women are not used to a black man who All right, so is everybody clear what our agenda is this morning? Absolutely. All right, great. So let's reconvene and say about four o'clock. This is one of our biggest deals, so let's not leave anything to chance, okay? Oh, did I neglect to mention how accomplished he is? Gotta love that man. <laughs> there is no fairy tale without Prince Charming. A Prince Charming meets certain criteria. Tall, dark and handsome, high status, high earning, high value. And of course, he needs to be desired by other women. 
Prince Charming is a big reason why Vivica Fox is still looking for love at 60 years old. The love that I had for him, and still to this day, um, will always, like, he was the love of my life. I will admit that without any reservations. Vivica Fox has been Alpha Widow by 50 Cent. And many, 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 many other women have shared the same fate because of the impact of Prince Charming. And that's what I want men to understand about most black women that I know. Most of us, contrary to popular belief, don't just want a man. We want the man that we want. We want a man that we desire. We want a man that we're actually attracted to. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, intellectually. Um, and if you're ask. not that, you <laughs> know what I mean? A whole lot to ask. Nowadays. It is a lot to ask. It's and I not a lot it's to not. ask. <laughs> I actually I think it ask. is. No. Trying to convince us that we need to accept the bare minimum needs to go somewhere. No, that is not a lot to ask. I swear to God, the bar is in hell. It's no, but I agree. Prince Charming is rare. Yet, women can't seem to understand that most of them will never marry him. And this movie portrays the real life scenario of how women view the bottom 80 90% of men. You know, Shantae, uh, I really thought you forgot about me. I'm glad you finally decided to call. Day six is a real drag. You find yourself on a date and start yeah, to think, what the hell am I doing here? Just stick through it. Go on as many dates as you can. It's all part of the 10 day process. You know, at one point I thought you weren't even concerned about me. I began to think you was trying to avoid me. But now I know you can't do it out. Big Papa. Ray Ray. Yo, Pooh Bear. <sighs> Day seven. This is how women feel 80 90% of men, if they even care to look at them. That's why you have all these videos of women crying in their cars because Prince Charming rejected them or Prince Charming pumped and dumped them. The reason why this hurts so much is that women like to believe they are the exception to the rule. Because that is what fairy tales teach them from a young age. So it's all or nothing, even at 60 years old. We gotta get out there. Yeah. My, my biggest problem is that I'm too picky. But we gotta get out there and date and yes. explore, try new horizons. Just not I'm enough. old fashioned. I'm like, yeah. I need to meet you and sparks yeah. happen yeah. and stuff like that. Because it doesn't matter what age these women are. They still want that fairy tale experience with sparks flying, especially if they have experienced it before. You know, I want to thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress too. Now that's sparks flying in real life. Prince Charming came in the form of 50 Cent. Now look at how it's presented in the movie. Then he looked at me. And for a second, everyone in the place disappeared. This is pure gold. He looked at me, meaning Prince Charming. Tyrone saw her, not Average Joe, the bus driver. 50 Cent was on top of the mountain when he shouted Fivica Fox out. Bobby Brown was on top of the mountain when he got with Whitney Houston. You see what happens to a man when he's on top of the mountain? He sparks instant attraction, love at first sight. And of course, in the fairy tale, Prince Charming is gonna approach the woman of any status and sweep her off her feet. But when a woman hits the wall, Prince Charming is not gonna see her anymore. She will be invisible to him because he will be looking at women 10, 20 years younger. And because he is Prince Charming, he can have a woman who's 10, 20 years younger. And she doesn't need to have a PhD or make six figures a year. If I don't desire you, I really don't want you. Real boss men, they do not desire a financial or an intellectual equal. They are not attracted to it. It is a turn off. The pee pee goes burp, burp, burp. It does. I'm telling y'all the truth. They, they did not go to law school, L'Oreal, so they could end up with a peer. Mm. 
They went to law school. They went to medical school. They went to Harvard MBA so that they could be the dominant. Yeah. So that they could run the shop. How many K Williams is doing too much? It's very simple. A man is not looking for another man. We're not turned off by women making money or having jobs and careers. It's just not a requirement. And it doesn't make a woman more attractive. But just listening to Ebony K. Williams and Vivica Fox, you immediately know these women are not feminine. These women are not soft. And engaging with them is exhausting. Every time you hear Ebony K. Williams speak, you think you're in court or something. It's not attractive. And a man with options is not gonna settle for a woman who doesn't compliment him. Balance. It's not supposed to be a power struggle. This brings us to the next chapter. No shit, she gonna handle business. She yeah. handle it. Get it together, Shante. Get it together. Get it together. Okay, this is where the rules begin. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this, rule number one, never panic. Stay cool. Act like it doesn't bother you one bit. And address the issue head on. Of course. The movie doesn't work without drama. That's the entertaining aspect of the movie. That's why we tune in to watch in the first place. However, the drama and actions portrayed in this movie shouldn't be applied to your relationship if you want it to be healthy. Unfortunately, for a lot of sisters, this next scene mirrors the mentality and attitude they have when it comes to relationships. All right, Shante, look, I was wrong. I shouldn't have been in the spot with Julie that night. But what happened was uh, we were working late. I got a little hungry. She asked me if I wanted to go get something to eat. And I was like, you know, without even thinking. Yeah, sure. No matter what his ass says, it doesn't make a difference because he should have known better. But now that he's put his cards on the table and offered some form of an explanation, you've got to step to the plate, girl. Be a woman. Do the right thing. Gut punch that ass. After one. This is not the train of thought of someone who thinks in solutions. This is what a bad attitude looks like. This is what brothers are talking about when it comes to the sisters. Black women have the tendency to try to mommy you, to sun you, so to speak. Now pay attention to Fifika Fox's response to 50 Cent's comment about black women getting angry over black men's desire for exotic women. No, 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 no. Can I just say, church finger, church finger, church finger over here. No, no, no. It was the levels of disrespect as far as I was concerned. You know, um, it was just so demeaning, the statement and the whole arrogance of it all. I mean, you came from a black woman. Don't ever forget that. You see how Vivica Fox immediately has to remind 50 Cent that his mama is black and that mama is in charge here. If you don't behave the way mama wants you to behave, mama is gonna check you. Now we know his crime. He went out to dinner with a co-worker after working late, <laughs> had dinner, did a little dancing, got caught, <laughs> and now he feels bad. Actually, that's not too bad. However, if your case is worse than this, you gotta determine if you want your man back. Cause if you don't, to hell with him. Keep on stepping. But if you want him back, punish him. Cardinal rule number two, when your man messes up, no matter how small it is, you gots to punish him. Punish him hard. Day two. Yes, this is it. No matter how small it is, these women are gonna run their mouths. This is exhausting. Vivica Fox does not know how to shut up and pick her battles. This is what 50 Cent had to deal with. He just has such boy tendencies. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. He's just like, when I read that, I was like, really? You would say that because you don't want anyone to challenge you. 
or talk to you want somebody to sit over there and be a pretty little dog that you can just pay, right? Can't handle a black woman, can you? Sisters take a lot of pride in running their mouths and it's not working for them. Your man is not your son and you are not his mama. 50 Cent wanted to propose to Vivica Fox, but she messed it up. Were you in love? I was very much in love with him. Was he in love with you? Very much. I mean, I think that the reason why it's haunted me for such a long time is here, I found out later that he wanted to propose to me. So that's why. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. So that's why for so long, I think it's haunted me that I always felt like, gosh, if I could have just done better, I didn't know. And that's what I share for so other did, ladies. But that did sometimes he have, did we he have, have to learn not to do too much did he and let the man be the man. Vivica Fox knows she fumbled the bag. She knows her ego got in the way. That's why she now openly admits 50 Cent is the love of her life because when she was with him, she was acting like he was disposable and easily replaced. The foolishness. Your personality is one of the hardest things to change. That's why it doesn't matter what you tell these women at this age. And what Wendy said at the end is exactly why these women can't have the men they want. But it's also not giving up us being strong as women. Right. They think that shutting up is weak. Being submissive is weak. Being agreeable is weak. So instead of cooperating with their man, instead of complimenting their man, they constantly engage in power struggles, trying to control their man, trying to prove to themselves and the sisterhood that they are so strong, disrespecting their man in the process. But the men they want have no problems walking away from women who bring no value to their lives. You know what? I think we need some time apart. You know, see what else is out there. Test the waters. Test the waters? What the hell is test the waters? Keith, calm down, bro. I am calm, all right, bro? I mean, you're getting all swollen up in the chest, man. Just sit down and relax. Test the waters. See, I don't want you to feel restricted. Restricted? <laughs> and lately, I've been feeling a little trapped myself, so maybe it's the best thing. Mm. Is that cool with you? Yeah, I'm mean, hey, I was going to suggest the same thing. Yeah, yes, cool. Good. This is one of the dumbest things a woman can do, especially if she's dealing with a man with options, a Prince Charming. However, like I've said in the previous chapter, women think they are the exception to the rule and that men like this will always be up for grabs. Unfortunately for them, they will have to learn the hard way. I just thought that you followed certain rules when a brother messes up to get him to come back. You see, in the fairy tale, Prince Charming forgives her for all of that crap she threw at him, based on true love. But in reality, a man wants respect. When a woman deliberately disrespects a man of value, he will never ever come back. We don't feel sorry for Vivica Fox. She's been in a position that most people can only dream about. But let her be a lesson for you guys out there to understand what your worth is as a man. If you don't know your worth, you'll end up settling for less and getting entangled in relationships that don't serve you or make you happy. Always be ready to walk away from the table if the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Gosh, if I could have just done better, I didn't know. And that's what I share for so other did, ladies, but that sometimes he, did we he have, have to learn not to do too much did he and let the man be the man. Patreon supporters, salute! Man, that's where we work it. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.